Good morning everybody. So I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me with some products. This is really gonna be my first impression Friday video with some products I haven't used in quite a while or new products. So what I'm putting on my face is the Glam Glow. Um, it's the Glam Glow. I'm gonna tell you the exact name. So it's right here. Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I was having some trouble that day with the uh, dry skin, like it's right on the edge of my nose. No, I'm not picking my nose. Ew. <laughs> no, but I have like little pieces of dead skin all over my nose. I don't know if it's something I used earlier in the week that's dried me out or if it's just the weather because it's been going from real cold and windy to, to warm and you know, you know what that does to our skin. So, I use this, um, oh, there's my morning Diet Coke. Somebody commented about my morning Diet Coke. Um, <laughs> they were joking, of course. Bother me, I love my Diet Coke. So, I'm just kind of letting that set in a little bit. I don't think I'm going to put a primer on with it, but we'll see. I don't remember. I didn't recall. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe I will later. I'm going right to my tape. Um, so the, the palette I'm going to use on my eyes is the new Tartlet Toasted Palette. I haven't tried this yet. Um, what I'll tell you right now that it did not stay on my eyes very well throughout the day. Maybe because... I didn't prime, but I, I don't recall. <laughs> this is the problem with doing voiceovers is that I don't remember exactly what I did. Sorry about the lights. I'm just using the light from my um, magnifying mirror to light my face. I'm cleaning my brushes. Everybody knows the other. I clean my brushes. I really need to clean my brushes. Yep, so I'm remembering that I didn't put anything on my eyes. I'm going to put um, my painterly pot on. I'm wondering if my painterly pot is getting to the point where it's old enough that I should probably um, buy another one. That may be why some of my eyeshadow was wearing off. But I can tell you, this was a long day at work by the time I came home. And I, uh, when I get really tired, I rub my face a lot. It's a horrible habit. It's probably why I break out a lot, too. I can't keep my hands off of my face. So, I'm looking for the brush, I think, to put my primer on. Ah, lips, chaps, so everything was dry. Better. Much better. I think this was my... I think it was my Tuesday look for work. Um, that shirt I have on, I'm calling it my puffy shirt because the arms are real puffy, but it's like an orange and cream and um, black or blue outline around the flowers. So um, I have it on with some navy pants. Yeah, see, it doesn't, I can see like watching this now that it doesn't look like a lot of product is going on my eye from the painterly pot. And when they're new and fresh, they um, spread very easily. You don't have to work at it. I think my product is just dried out. Darn, a reason to go and buy some stuff at MAC. So I'm going in with the little shade in the corner. It's a light matte shade to put all over my eye. It's called S'more. And I think the shade that I'll go into my crease with will 
double check, but I think it's called cashmere. Yeah, it's cashmere that I'm going in with. This, um, the Tartlet and Bloom and this Tartlet Toasted, this is the formula I really like from Tarts stuff. And as you can see, it's very pigmented. It's going on very easy. But as I get throughout the day, probably about 4 o'clock, it started, I could see that it was wearing. But this video was filmed at like 5, 36 o'clock in the morning. So it's not horrible amount of time considering as much as I rub my face. So funny. I think I put lashes on this day. I can't remember. Maybe it was Monday I put lashes on and not this day. Okay, that shade right there that's going all over my eyes is Flame. Um, like, during the... When I was looking, like, I would look in the mirror if I was washing my hands or whatever, and I would look at it and think that the flame color was too close to the crease color. It just wasn't another de enough depth to the color shade range, which may be a reason why I had problems with it, too, or, or why I didn't like it. So, in my crease there, I'm going in with Cozy. And then I'm, I think I'm going to go in with Fireside as well because I don't think that's dark enough. But, you know, for an everyday look, this is not, you know, I was happy with it. I didn't need it to be too complex. So anyway, so back to Monday. I was, uh, I had put lashes on and I was having a meeting with, with a few of my um, a few of the guys that work for me and we're sitting in my office and I could feel <laughs> I could you know when you can tell like your lash is just not completely on and I'm thinking I kept feeling it and I was like it doesn't feel like it's off well sure enough I had a lash halfway off okay this is another product I've used I have not used it in some time but I thought because my skin was so dry I would I would uh, use this on this day for like a foundation. This is the Hope in a Jar Tinted Moisturizer. That brush I'm using comes with it. Or at least it did when I bought it. I bought mine from QVC. So that's uh, Renewed, actually it's called Renewed Hope in a Jar Skin Tint. And I am in, let's see if I can get a shade off of this. Hmm. Do not see a shade on mine. I don't think they have a big shade range on this stuff. It's probably medium. Something like this. This is what I, I would go for like a medium shade normally. So I just rubbed that all over my face with the brush um, and really my skin starts to absorb it. It is darker than the rest of my body but because I had a shirt on that was like going up my neck I was not worried about the difference in the shades. It's a hot mess that day. I basically took it out of the ponytail, scrunched it with my fingers, and put a clip on the top of my head and was like, I gotta roll. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Um, so this is the Cover Girl, I believe, True Match, or maybe it's a Maybelline product. Hold on. Oh, well, look, because I'm sitting at my desk doing this voiceover as a Cover Girl. Um, I don't know, I just didn't feel like a real creamy concealer, you know, like a liquidy concealer, so I just put that on. This, my, my eyes have been really dark lately. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm not getting enough rest or what. I hate the way it looks when I lean back like that to go in that drawer. I was reading something or watching a YouTube video. I forget what it was, but I think it was... Desi that was talking about not using that drawer like that's in the middle of your vanity because it looks hideous when you go in it. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's really the way I feel about it. So I just put a little bit underneath. A um, little bit tacky. So I always worry about the foundation hug. So, you know, if you see somebody you haven't seen for a long time or 
whatever, which is very common in the work I do, you know, and you give them a hug and then like you've got foundation all over their suit jacket or whatever. It's like, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I need to pay for your dry cleaning. So I always think that setting it with a powder stops it, but it still happens. It's the, the transfer, but I call it the foundation hug. It's kind of lip gloss kisses for me and foundation hugs. I don't know what I had picked up. Oh, I was using the brush that I put on my under eye. That's what it was. I'm a mess in the morning. And this is just my Too Faced. This is, I'm just trying to use this up, that's all. That's a, a new shade on my um, Tarte blushes. These are the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Tarte blushes. I really like I really like those. Very subtle. I don't like a very bright, bright, bright blush. So anyways, back to my eyelashes because I'm off of it again. So my eyelashes are hanging halfway off. I had to peel them off in the middle of work. It took all my, my wing liner off. It, it was just a mess. Luckily, I'm very good at laughing at myself. going to do a quick fill in on my brows. I'm not doing anything um, exciting. And I, for some reason, the stuff is worn off of the pencil, but I'm pretty sure this is the Too Faced brow pencil, an old Too Faced brow pencil. I have so many brow products all over the place. And, and it's very rare unless there's a color match issue that I have any problem with brow products. It's just not something that I, I know it's not going to get absolutely perfect. Not for me anyway. So I'm going to go back into the palette. And do my inner corner and under my eye. So I think I'm pretty sure I go back into cozy and do under my eye. So it's all just too, the, the shade is just all too close together. There's no depth to it. At all. Hey. Sorry guys. Oko just heard something outside. She doesn't like it. Oko. Oko, we're doing our voiceover. And then I'm going to use the shade in the palette, um, Sunrise. There's Sunrise, or I'm pretty sure it's Sunrise. Poco. She just wants to be in the voiceover, too. some weird faces. Everybody tells me they can read. They can read everything about me on my face. Yeah, so because I didn't think that there was a lot of difference in the um, colors, I put that candle shade kind of in the middle. You know, sort of give it a little bit of a halo or spotlight effect. This is a new MAC lipstick. I, the, uh, I think the shade is Touched. New to me. I don't know that it's new to MAC, but it's new to me. Touched. I'm going to show it to you because I can never see it. Got that 
got a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. I got it a couple of weeks ago. Um, this is my Urban Decay. Um, it's the cream colored eyeliner. I can't think of what it's called now. But it's the cream color eyeliner. And I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Help brighten up the eyes some. And then I'm going to just throw on some mascara and be done. Yeah, this is the Marc Jacobs mascara. I have a couple of full size things of this. Really like this mascara a lot. It's probably one of my favorites. It's one of those mascaras like from the time you open the bottle, it's good to the time it it starts to dry out. It just it, it doesn't for some reason for me it doesn't change. I have pretty long eyelashes and don't really need to wear eyelashes, but sometimes, depending on the eye look, I think it is kind of necessary, especially with a dramatic look. Yeah. Another weird look on my face. trying to be so quiet once again it's in like I said it's in the morning and I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's asleep kind of adjust, you know alter our schedules a little bit so that he stays home for a little bit with the pups after I go off to work and then when I get home that way they're not left alone too long gonna put some MAC um, Fix Plus on my face. I'm gonna show you guys the look. So I really do, I think I, I, I think I like the way the palette looked. I wanna try it and give it a go again and I, when I do I'll film it again so you can see it all. Bye-bye.